Now, welcome back to Daytime Live. Tuesday it is, and we are still buzzing. Now, Autorius High School in St. Anne has seen an improvement in its CXE exam results, thanks in large part to its top performing students, Jamea Edwards, who passed 10 subjects, Kareem Hunter and Kelisa Davis, who both passed nine. Mm -hmm. Now, despite these achievements, Principal Marvin Clausen noted that there is still room for improvement. Now, while the school has seen a 4% boost in performance compared to the previous year, challenges remain in areas like mathematics and vocational subjects. The Ministry of Industry is working on enhancing the industry operations and licensing. Right. Licensing process. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, and I think there's a timeline for these improvements, even though we haven't seen it. It's not been set quite yet. So, oh. yeah. 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 So, I yeah. think that is wonderful. Our floor manager, Clive, went to that. <laughs> went there, and he's like, whoop, whoop, in the well, corner, um, you can't hear but, it. But, whoop, but, but, whoop. But okay, talk Clive. About the improvements in um, that some schools are non traditional. High, performance, high performing schools are making. I, am, I applaud them mm -hmm. because that means that the administration of the school, the principal, the, the teachers, a lot of time the parents, the, the, the guardians of the school are committed that despite whatever the odds, we are going to give our students the best opportunity mm -hmm. to excel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I am a, a big shout out to mm -hmm. Otrius High School and which ever else school woo, woo, woo. that is doing like yeah. absolutely yeah. phenomenal you know what we want do do what's that with a name again what about if jamia or jamaya edwards who passed for 10 subjects Karim Hunter and Kelisa, and course, Kelisa no. Davis. Sure. Wanna come now? Wanna come, come, yes, come sit down here and come tell me how to do it? Is it mostly parents? Is it mostly teachers? Is it one teacher in particular? Is it the math teacher? Is it every teacher? It's, 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 come it's talk great. to it. Come and talk I'm, to it and make we hear the things then. And, and, the, and give and, some good advice and for those they, coming And they as will well. be representatives of just the scholastic body, the mm. school body, because mm -hmm. I'm sure there are other students who do, did really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, a 4% increase, that's pretty I, good. I, with and with, mm -hmm. we have a lot of teachers who didn't turn up. There are some teachers who, the schools who are lacking teachers, mm -hmm. and a lot of quality teachers have left Those for other opportunities. Up. That's somebody that just never turned up. No, no, there's some, yeah, you, you, I've seen a couple of videos where mm. school administrators are saying the teachers are, them, them just don't turn up. Mm. Uh, so, with, with this mass exodus of teachers, mm. and we still see high performing students. Mm. It's, yeah, it's, it's, this school has done well because we haven't seen that across the parish. Um, in fact, educational bodies, Ministry of Education has come out and said like, generally the numbers aren't what we would be expecting yeah. in a lot of subjects, I, you know, I, across I, the country. I, I, so we really have to applaud the ones who are I coming think out. On I think it's directly so. related to quality teachers not being absolutely good. and parents and parents, parents. Some parents listen them involved. Love that. Oh, you mean you Love mean that. parents being involved? Yeah. Why? Right. But I'm yeah, saying yeah, that yeah. in terms of the dip in performance, mm -hmm. I think it's directly related to not having the quality teachers mm -hmm. available. Agreed. Agreed. All right, you know, we're talking about, um, okay, so there's this particular video that has been buzzing, right? And this video, it has, is of a man who pranks his fellow Jamaicans, we, by pretending that his luxury vehicle, oh, the BMW, broke down. Yeah, I saw this. Listen, I look for a video. Check out this video, we talk after. Have a little look. The other day, I pranked the public. Full of bottle of water and use school here to color it, make it look like gas. But borrow my friend X4, park it on the roadside, pull the gas tank, pretending the vehicle run out of gas to see how the public would react when a BMW in distress. <laughs> Left the car and come in at the bus. All 
right. So, Agreed. So that was brilliant. Mm -hmm. And I remember I was having a, I don't know if I did it as a set or as a conversation that I was having. And this may be just the weird thing, but me feel like a certain vehicle of a brought down the roadside. See, I'm one of them would have laughed off of it. Me feel like a certain the vehicle of a run out of gas. Sir. <laughs> yeah. I'm one of them would have laughed off of you on the road. I'm just and saying. Like, brother, you know your BMW brother, what you say? I, maybe I, I think I'd be one of those persons. You are one of those. I think I'd be one of those I'm going to drive off a wagon in my window. Yes! I'm going to. It don't look good. General! General. Really? <laughs> No, it don't look good because we, let me but tell me, you something. But me, I don't feel like a certain vehicle. No. It's, and it's not it's, bad mind, you know. It's, it's not bad, bad mind. No, how's bad mind? There's enough things by Instagram about this story. Like, Misery Likes Company, which I'm like, okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. But a lot of us feel like, say, because it's a BMW, like, you live where, you, where your financial bracket is in. Exactly. And even, no, even if you're in a BMW, yeah. just like me and I'm like a Honda, at the same, your expenses are more no, just No, this is what I'm saying. Gas expenses there's just no, the same. There's no, I mean, I, and this is me. This is just but me. It's all a I'm just saying. I'm, it's funny. I'm just saying. There's no way you should be in a thirty million dollar vehicle, and your tank for the less than half. Listen, like, I have a lot of friends, yeah, out there, yeah, with their thirty million dollar vehicle, and some days they're like, Breda, let me just park up outside my house and stay home." Because it is what it is, mate. No, it no. It is what it is. Me not believe so. It is what it is. Me don't believe so. Me see what I mean when say somebody has struggled about how much he's going to put in him jet, put in um, oil, fuel in the jet, because he's like, yo, it's so expensive to cross continent travel. Nobody knows what can happen. So me just say, we have a shout out. I yeah. do have a shout out. Quick, quick. It's a sad have, one. Um, it's a friend of mine. Her partner passed away. And it so happens to be Taurus Riley's brother. So That's we want to say. Yeah, it's a, it's a condolences and enough love and we're here, we're thinking about you and everything and yeah, enough yeah. love. But mine, mine is better. Big up the, the chef at Chavez Avenue. Mm. Bad. Chavez Avenue, what at that at one place? Yeah, it's Restaurant? right off Mountain View Avenue. Where you get? Everything, but it's a, it's a steam color low. Mm. Oh, very nice. Yes, man. Tell us a little more in the break where we can and, go hand-sided. And pick up the staff at, 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 at Juicy Beef Ligani. Love that. All right. Yeah. All right. Good, good vibe. And the lady this morning will say, Me watch this one. Me love this one, you see? Beat me up. So, I don't know your name. Beat <laughs> them live. We'll be right back. We're big dog. We'll chat. And we'll be talking about cannabis and the dangerous drug act. We're so far out. So, hurry up. Mm. Get some water for drink up.